As our population grows, cities become denser. And what you find is there is less and less land for houses to sit on and less and less space for people to garden. And that's why space like this becomes so important. You see, this is The Verge. It's owned by the council. And it's the space where you get all of your services coming through, things like power, electricity, and of course, telephone cables all access your property through here. But it's also a significant opportunity. You see, the general expectation is The Verge will be covered by something, usually grass, and that requires huge amounts of water. An average verge can use as much as 20,000 litres of water a year in a dry sandy soil climate like the Perth Sand Plains. And grass, whilst beautiful in its own right, is there for a purpose. And that's as a versatile playing surface for adults, kids and pets. And verge lawns are not suitable for this. Imagine this, there's 450,000 homes in Perth, 450,000 verges, each using up to 20,000 litres of water a year. That's a damn load of water and if you repeat this right across the country, you can understand why there's a revolution starting to happen in Australia. We're transforming verges and we should be into far more productive and sustainable environments. That's what it's all about. Now the thing here is this is public domain and that's where it starts to get a little bit difficult. There are rules and regulations which govern what you can grow on your verge. And this is where we got called in to help, well hopefully, resolve a problem between a council and a ratepayer and what they do with their verge. This is what it looked like before. And the council have recently intervened, unhappy with the plant selection, and left the owner with this. Sue Jeffries has already had one verge garden destroyed by the City of Cambridge Council and the latest episode has seen a storm of community protest after the story was told by WA Today journalist Emma Young. Sue, there was obviously a lot of love had gone into this verge. Something dramatic has happened since then. Tell us the story. We planted 13, 14 years ago with a water-wise succulent garden. Mm -hmm. There were no problems at all until a new neighbour moved in and approached us directly and said he didn't like it and that it must be removed. We worked with the council repeatedly, meeting with them to ensure we followed their guidelines. They bulldozed it once, we worked with them again, they bulldozed it again. So this happened just recently, I take it? Ten days ago. Ten days ago, they've come through. That's bordering on what I would say is vandalism, the way this has been treated. Was there any sort of um, mediation process, any chance for you to discuss things with the neighbour, with the council before this happened? We were never asked to meet with the complainant at all. It's just terrible. Well, so we're going to do our very best to transform this back to something that meets the guidelines um, and uh, hopefully we can recover some of these beautiful plants in amongst it as well. This story is a tough one. Look at the devastation that the council team has left. But it has a happy ending, and I'll show it to you a bit later in the show.